Welcome back everyone. In this video, we'll be adding uh, progress view to our .NET MAUI application. For one of my client project, we need uh, this type of uh, uh, progress view for our project. So I searched throughout the uh, internet but couldn't find this type of uh, progress bar. So I had to create my own plugin uh, for the implementation of progress bar that supports right now for Android and iOS. But uh, if this uh, project gets more love and support, then I may extend to Windows and Mac too. And here uh, I had to uh, create the full circle uh, progress bar and I had to cut it uh, down to half and uh, to create the arc shape progress bar so as a version one we are just uh, supporting the circle progress bar view but i have some more plans for this uh, project to extend to more complex progress view too so i will be needing your help and support uh, to get this project uh, going and let's try to first of all implement this uh, uh, progress bar view progress view uh, that is our circular progress view in our dotnet maui project so here uh, as uh, as of now we need to add the plugin plugin dot maui dot maui progress view from our uh, project so we'll be just going through the uh, manage nuget package and adding the uh, plugin so let's go let's see if our uh, plugin is available or not in our uh, new package so here Login dot maui dot maui yeah, progress view so here this is the plugin and just see it's uh, uh like a, a developed by me and right now we have support for android and ios only so here uh, we need to add this one and along with that we need to add sketchup.view.maui.controls if uh, uh, you can't inherit from the maui program.cs i think uh, it should be installed uh, from uh, like uh, from the plugin itself use this one and it should automatically call this one if that is not uh, called then uh, you need to add that uh, plugin okay so that is uh, sketchup.views.maui.controls and uh, that is it nothing uh, more uh, complex coding to be done that is uh, we'll be adding a, a stack layout and then we'll be using this namespace in our xaml so here uh, main page.xaml will be adding the progress string view and we have the circle type as full and here uh, we have full and arc so let me create the arc and here you can see uh, it extends from 0 to 100 percent so that is it and along with that for full full uh, circle then uh, we can just see that this is how it gets incremented from 0 to 100 percent and for this uh, 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 thumb visibility we can just uh, change it to false that is the extra property that i have added and uh, yet the thumb has been uh, removed and you can just put the percentage in circle whenever you use a grid view and add that percentage in center and you create your own ui as you like how you want to create so uh, i'll be expecting some suggestions from uh, you uh, regarding how we should be going ahead so that's all for this video now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials